Hello, this is Travis with the National Weather Service in Missoula with your planning briefing for Sunday, June 12th. Uh, just taking a look at the uh, weather threat matrix. It's several pieces here. The, the first piece being today into tomorrow morning, a threat of some uh, heavy rainfall, especially north central Idaho into uh, northwest Montana. Uh, we then transition over to lower snow levels with some snow in the backcountry, and you can see that uh, especially emphasized in northwest Montana Monday night into Tuesday. Uh, drier, warmer days Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday, and then thunderstorm chances look to return on Friday. Now if you look at some of the details, here's the current uh, satellite uh, loop from mid-morning through late morning. Upper, lo upper level trough uh, moving into the Pacific Northwest, considerable moisture moving into the area, so we're going to have Another round of widespread showers and isolated thunderstorms later this afternoon through tonight, uh, especially uh, impacting north central Idaho, but really just impacting the whole area. And then it becomes more focused over northwest Montana Monday and Tuesday. So the first piece of it, the hydrology concerns, those uh, smaller streams and creeks will be running pretty high, may have some minor flood issues with those. And then also the larger uh, mainstream rivers, uh, it looks like we're going to have uh, close to, if not minor, flood stage for uh, several different sites along the Bitterroot, Clark Fork, and the Clearwater sites, and some of those are already have reached minor flood stage, so, so definitely keep that in mind. That'll, that'll last through the, the, the early and middle part of the coming week. Now this here is uh, animation of the precipitation accumulating all the way through uh, later on Tuesday. And I'll go ahead and stop it. So this is the uh, the total accumulation through through late Tuesday evening. And when I when I have the loop run again, you'll see the initial accumulation is most is is mostly north central Idaho tonight into early Wednesday, and then just progressing northward and focusing uh, over northwest Montana. And so we have have totals anywhere up to an inch or just above an inch in north central Idaho, and then. Uh, multiple inches, especially on the terrain of northwest Montana, uh, Monday into Tuesday. So we'll let that loop through, and you can you can see the the focus down here at least initially, and then um, as we get into Monday and Tuesday up north. So just looking at uh, a marginal threat for excessive rainfall. This is for the rest of today through early Monday. So you can see that that focus uh, stretching north central Idaho into northwest Montana, and then the day on Monday into Tuesday morning, once again, like I was mentioning, focused in northwest Montana and right along the Montana-Idaho border as well. Uh, the next piece of this is the snow, uh, especially along the divide and in the Glacier Park area, and that would be most focused Monday evening through Tuesday night. Now the snow levels do begin to drop uh, during the day on Monday, but it looks like the, the focus for the heavier precipitation in the form of snow anyways, would be uh, Monday evening through late on Tuesday. So we have uh, uh, snow amounts generally from two to four inches in, on a lot of the terrain. And then once we get above 6,000 feet, it looks like a foot of snow or more wouldn't, wouldn't be unheard of. So keep that in mind. I'm just gonna step through this, this uh, accumulation uh, animation here. And let's see, we'll, we'll stop it on Tuesday evening. Uh, so you can see we have, you know, multiple inches of snow on the terrain here. It, it, it should just be wet snow. It'll probably, probably some of it just melt during, during the daytime and not, not be much of a factor, not expected to be a road impact. And then you can see the main focus being here, the Glacier Park region right along the divide where we have considerably more, more snowfall. And when, once you get above 6,000 feet, like I mentioned, a foot, maybe two foot of snow is possible. May see some slushy snow on Marias Pass uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. Have to kind of keep an eye on that. But overall, not so much a road impact, but definitely a backcountry impact. Cold, wet, windy conditions, raw, raw type conditions. So keep that in mind. Uh, if we look at uh, kind of the, the next step of this, uh, Monday into Tuesday looks to be fairly breezy to windy. Uh, Tuesday looks to be a, a bit stronger with the wind speeds. And here's a look at the gust. So you know, you can see uh, 30s and a few 40s, especially west central and southwest Montana. The reason this is of some interest is just with the recent wet soils uh, could possibly, with wind speeds like this, see, see a few trees that come down and maybe some localized power outages. So something to keep an eye on as well. 
Uh, looking at the warmest uh, day of the week, looks to be Friday. You can see our temperatures return into the, the, the mid uh, to upper 80s and in some places in the, the lower valleys. Um, so, so that does look to be the warmest day Friday. And then looking at the min RHs, generally down in the 20s and in 30s, especially I-90 southward. Looking even beyond that, um, the 19th to the 25th of June, we're kind of stuck in the middle here of a fairly active pattern, uh, generally trend, trending toward near normal or above normal precipitation for that time period, and then also uh, below normal for temperatures, a, a trend toward below normal temperatures. If you have any questions, please uh, contact us, and thank you for listening. Have a good day.